Hello viewers, welcome to another 3D modeling video using the developer version of FreeCAD. The goal of this video is to show how to use the tools in the part sign and sketch your workbenches while modeling this 3D part that seems simple to draw. Let's start by opening the FreeCAD developer version. Let's start by creating a blank document. Press M default option to create a blank document. In the part and workbench, press create body icon to add a part and body object to the tree view. And next, let's start our modeling process of this 3D model. Let's start by creating a sketch attached to the XY plane for this shape here. Let's go to our document and click in create sketch icon and select the XY plane for this first sketch. On the sketch workbench, let's go to sketch geometries, select cycle tool. Click in the origin axis, this point, and I'll set 120 millimeters for the diameter of this cycle. Enter, and um, if I hit escape, as you see, this sketch is full constrained, and the diameter is 120 millimeters for this cycle. So I will close this sketch. I am on the part time workbench again, so I will use the pad tool to extrude this sketch. I will click on pad icon. And on these parameters, I will change the length to 40 millimeters and then hit OK. And as you see, I have this first shape on this document. Press home on the keyboard and you will see the model centered in the view. The next step now is to create this fillet. In our document, we need to select all this face or this edge here. And then click on the fillet tool icon and now for example for the radius of this fillet let's say 15 millimeters go to the radius field and change to 15 millimeters and then press ok and this is the result next here let's try to add this thickness that we see on this document in this really model to add the thickness we have this tool here thickness tool what I have to do in our document is to rotate the view and then select the bottom face of this 3D model. Select the face and click in thickness tool. As you see, here we have the thickness. And the next step is to change the thickness to this dimension, 3 millimeters, and then hit OK. And we have this. Next here, let's see how to create this hole, this hole here, this one. To create a hole, we have two options. We can create a sketch attached to this face here. On that sketch, we'll create a circular geometry and then use the pocket tool to create a hole. Or we can use this hole tool of part-time workbench. What I have to do is to select this face, for example, and click on the hole tool icon. And on the parameters, go to diameter and change to 7 millimeters. Click off. As you see, we have the hole. So using this way, the whole tool, we don't need to create a sketch on the face. Just press OK. The next thing to do is to create a small chamfer here that we see here on the history model. To do that, it's very easy. We have this tool here, the chamfer tool. What I have to do is to select this edge and then click on the chamfer tool. Go to the parameters in size let's change to let's change to two millimeters click off and okay let's create a sketch attached to the axis plane in that sketch we'll create the geometry for this shape and then we'll extrude the sketch to create this shape click on the create sketch icon and select the axis plane this plane we are on the sketch of workbench first let's change to the session view press this icon zoom in here and now go to the sketch geometries let's use two rectangles to create a geometry for the sketch select the rectangle tool click on the horizontal axis and create this rectangle and now click on the side and create this rectangle skip this tool and now select these two horizontal lines in this way delete and next select the line tool on sketch geometries and let's close this geometry in this way okay and now hit skip and select this line and this line what you need to do now is to make these lines horizontal to do that go to the constraint horizontal and vertical 
expand the tools and click in constrain horizontal select this point and the horizontal axis and let's apply a constraint constant and we have this next let's select this one here the create fillet to create this fillet here okay let's select this line and this one here and we have this next this line and this line here or we can click on this endpoint and the fillet will be created let's do the same here and we have this skip this tool and now select the equal constraint and let's make this arc equal to this arc and this arc equal to this arc here and next this line here and this line equal okay now let's use the constraints metric this tool here and select this point and this point here and make these points merge to the vertical axis and we have this as you can see we have a small problem here let's escape this tool and drag for example this point of here yes in this way and drag this this point to here and next this point to here and now let's drag this okay let's hide this all constraints here to work easily press this icon and i'll select the dimension tool click on this arc here click off and let's say 10 millimeters for the radius as you can see we have this small problem here okay zoom in here click on this arc click off and let's say 14 millimeters and we have this problem skip this tool and let's drag this point okay in this way and next let's use the dimension tool again now click on this line click off and let's say a distance for this line here let's say 6.5 millimeters and enter and now from this line to this line here let's create a vertical distance of 5.5 millimeters in this way okay next let's select this line here and the horizontal axis and then create a vertical distance of 44 millimeters and we have this as you can see next let's select this point and this point here click off and let's say 130 millimeters and so and we have this sketch full constrained as you see let's close the sketch and next let's use the path tool to extrude the sketch let's check the these let's check these options smart to plane and then change the length to 12 millimeters and okay okay here we have the shape and next year we can create this chamfer here after that we'll create a polar array of this shape here let's go let's select this edge hold ctrl key and select this edge go to chamfer one millimeter it's okay just press ok here and now let's select the pad feature ctrl the chamfer and now let's go to polar pattern okay on the parameters of this operation first we have to change the axis of this operation to z axis go to axis click here and select the z axis as you see we have this now let's change the occurrence to full and as you can see we have this we have a small problem here but this is not so important we can press ok and next select this face here and let's create a sketch on it on this sketch here we'll create a circle geometry for this shape here okay let's go to our document on the sketcher workbench select cycle tool and the sketch geometries click on the region axis and create a cycle with a diameter of 50 millimeters and so skip two times to leave the sketch and now let's select the path tool to extrude the sketch let's say two millimeters up let's say two millimeters up and okay now let's select this face here and extrude now let's change the duration check reverse it rotate the view go to type click here and let's select up to face and now let's select this face here as you can see we have this let's press ok as you can see in the history model 
we don't have this difference here. To solve that, we can extrude this face here to this face. Select this face here and click on the pet tool. Go to the type, change to up to face, and now select this face. And the problem is solved. Press OK. And next, let's create a hole on this shape here, like you see on this 3D model. To do that, it's very easy. Let's use the hole tool again. Select this face and click on the hole tool of part time workbench. Go to diameter and let's change here to 30 millimeters. And also, we can change the F type here to Fugo. And OK. OK, now that we have this, let's create this operation here. This is a fillet feature. To do that, let's select this face here and click on the fillet tool. One millimeter for the radius is OK. I will press OK. And next here, let's see how to create these all pockets here. OK, the first step is to create a sketch. That sketch we can attach to this face here. On that sketch, we'll create a geometry that we'll use in the pocket feature to create these pockets. OK, on this document, zoom in and select this face. Click in Create Sketch icon. OK, and here we have the sketch. OK, in this sketch, the goal is to create a geometry that we'll use to create one of these pockets here. So let's start by rotating this sketch in the z-axis. To do that, we have to go to the attachment offsets of the sketch. Let's go to the model tip. Scroll down here to the sketch, select the sketch. Let's go to data, go to attachment properties, expand attachment offset, go to axis. As you see here, we have the rotation in the z-axis. We have one here. So it means that if we change the angle here, the sketch will rotate in the z-axis. Let's change here to 45 degrees and enter. Close the start page. As you see, we have this. Go back to tasks and re let's refresh the document. As you see, nothing happens here. Let's close the sketch and let's open the sketch again. Double click. And we have this, as you can see. OK, now let's zoom in here and go to the sketch geometry of sketch workbench, expand the rectangle tools and select centered rectangle and select create centered rectangle. And now just click on the vertical axis and create this rectangle. Now let's use the dimension tool to constrain the length of this line here to six millimeters. Enter. And now from this line to the horizontal line, let's create a vertical distance of 40 millimeters, like this. And uh, now to full constraint this sketch here, we can set admission for this line here. Just click this line here and let's say 50 millimeters and close the sketch. Now let's use the pocket tool to create a pocket. What I have to do here is to increase the length of this pocket. Go to the length property and let's say 30 millimeters. Click off and as you can see we have this. Let's press OK here. And the next thing to do is to create this fillet here. Uh, let's zoom in here and change the draw style to wireframe. So in this way it will be easy to select the edge that we need in the fillet feature. Hold Ctrl key and select this edge, this edge, and now this edge here and this edge. Let's go back to the flat line draw style, this one here, and now let's click in fill it tool and change the radius to 2.5 millimeters. Click off, and we have this. Let's press OK to finish the fillet operation. And now what is missing is to create this all occurrence of this pocket. We will use the multiform tool. Let's go to our document and select the pocket. Hold Ctrl key and select this fillet feature because we need the pocket and this fillet and this all occurrence. So let's press the multiform icon 
And on the task panel, let's go to transformations, right click and let's select polar pattern first. First of all, let's fix the axis. Let's change here to Z axis. And next, let's go to angle and let's say 28 degrees. Click off. As you see, we have this. Let's change to the top view. Go to occurrence and increase to three occurrence. As you see, we have this. We have three, we have these three occurrence here. What we'll do next is to mirror these three occurrence on this side here. Let's go to our document and finish the first polar pattern. Press OK. And next, right click and let's select a mirror transformation. As you see, we have this. And the plane for this mirrored feature is in the vertical sketch axis. Just press OK. And what is missing to do now is to create occurrence on this side, this side, and this side. To do that, we'll use the polar pattern feature. Right click and click in add polar pattern. As you see, we have two occurrence. Let's first change the axis to Z axis. Okay, and next increase the occurrence to four. Set four here, click off, and then press OK. And this is the final model. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit like and share this video with your friends. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.